What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Today was an absolutely huge day for us Call of Duty players as today was the official multiplayer reveal and we got a ton of information. So today I'm gonna be talking about the new score streak system, theater mode returning, the create a class system and so much more. Now guys, the beta for Black Ops Cold War is set to come out on October the 8th, but this is going to be for those with early access on the PlayStation 4, meaning you got to pre-order the game first, and it's going to last for a day until October the 9th, and the next day on the 10th through the 12th, that's when the open beta starts, meaning anybody can download and play the Black Ops Cold War beta. All you gotta do is go into the store and then search it up and you'll be able to play. And then for weekend two on October the 15th through the 16th, this is when the official crossplay beta starts. But again, only for those with early access are gonna be able to play on this day. But then on the 17th through the 19th is when the beta will be open and available to all platforms. So mark that down on your calendars. Again, all you gotta do to play the early access beta is either pre-order inside of the Steam, Xbox, or PlayStation Store or just wait for the open beta to go live on the following days, but still you gotta search it up on the digital store for whatever system you're playing on. And now moving on, last week Charlie Intel and a bunch of other content creators and pro players were sent closed alpha versions of Black Ops Cold War to play, but Charlie Intel reported that inside of the main menu for this closed alpha version was an option to go to theater mode. So if you guys don't know what theater mode is, basically it's pretty much a way for players to record their gameplays, clips, etc., and save it all onto their profiles it's kind of like a capture card but it's built directly inside of the game itself pretty cool feature and us content creators love theater mode as it helps us out immensely for making thumbnails and whatnot um, but yeah theater mode was actually an option inside of the main menu but players could not access it because again this is a closed alpha version of black ops code war but still, just knowing that theater mode is going to be returning is incredibly amazing news to hear. One of the many, many changes within Black Ops Cold War is score streaks. Score streaks are now not going to reset upon a death, which is absolutely huge for Call of Duty because we've never had something like that before within our kill streak and score streak system. There has been perks to use, like for example, requisitions in Call of Duty World War II that did something similar. But in Black Ops Cold War, it's going to be a universal thing. Score streaks are not going to be resetting upon your deaths. And I think the reason why they did that was to encourage more people to stay within the game. Because I know for me, for example, if I'm getting absolutely murked by the other team, I'm not going to want to stay in that game, honestly. Like, I want to back out and actually play a game where I can actually do something. And I'm not going to be able to do that if I don't have my score streaks or kill streaks. So. I think that's one of the big reasons why they chose to not reset kill streaks upon deaths. I think they want to encourage more people to stay in the lobbies because if you stay in the game, you can keep getting kills, play the objective, and possibly get a really good score streak to turn the game around in your team's favor. So I think that's the reason why they chose to make that decision. And yeah, I'm not opposed to it, honestly. I kind of want to see how it's going to play out within the game itself. I'm open minded, and I think it could be a very, very good thing for Call of Duty for sure. And also, if you guys go on a kill streak or a kill chain, then you'll earn slightly more score towards your next score streak. So I kind of do like this decision, honestly, but again, I got to see how it's going to play within the game itself. Now, if you're wondering, aren't players just going to be able to spam streaks? Well, actually, no, because Treyarch added a cooldown timer that varies by each score streak. So it's not entirely like requisitions, but it will for sure encourage more people to stay inside of the game and give them hope of possibly turning the game around and making a comeback. To me, this new system is kind of like a mix of specialist plus score streaks, except there are some things that balance it all out. So yeah, I gotta wait to try it out for myself to see how it all works out. But from what I've heard from the people who've played it and talked to, a lot of them don't really mind this new system as it really doesn't affect the gameplay too much. But still, it can be useful if properly used and coordinated with your team. Next up for the create a class, the system goes back to the traditional style of picking a primary, secondary, lethal and tactical, and then a set of perks, but also a field upgrade. The field upgrades are pretty much like the modern warfare upgrades, they do not reset upon death, and they are earned based on time and not score. Wild cards also return, and you can pick one out of four wild cards to use in every single one of your class. Next up, the gunsmith feature is also kind of similar to the Modern Warfare system. Every weapon has at least 54 attachments, which is insanely huge. 
and then it's going to be across eight different attachment points so you know you need one for your stock your optic your grip etc but by default every weapon can have at least five attachments on the weapon and again some of the attachments are going to give you a positive and a negative so really you got to plan out how you want to play with that weapon and also the map you're playing on that's also a factor that goes into this do you want to play with a more fast paced in your face style of gunplay with an increased ads speed but then trade off by having an increased amount of recoil on the weapon things like that are what you're gonna have to decide when it comes to picking an attachment but again this system is very similar to modern warfare cold war operators are basically like the operators again in modern warfare except i personally feel the operators act a bit more realistic and natural to a real life soldier now there is unlimited sprinting which i do really like in call of duty games but also there's a new movement mechanic called sprint takeoff so at first you start off at a running speed but then your operator will start to slow down back to a normal speed again the sliding to me honestly seems like it's going to be a bit more fluid and I think you slide at an even faster distance, but that could just be based off the trailer. I don't know yet because I haven't played. But if you are going to be running, sliding, or whatever movement you're making, the more faster you go, the more noise you're going to make, regardless even if you're crouched. And this is absolutely huge, but pretty realistic if you ask me. So again, depending on how fast you're moving, the more noise your character is going to be making. Also, when you jump off a ledge or a really high point, your operator is going to be stunned for a little bit. They're not going to be able to move as fast. They're going to be slowed down. So really, it seems like the goal was to make the movements more authentic and tactical. And I really do like this a lot. In terms of the gameplay, yes, there are health bars on players. However, there is going to be a way to toggle that off inside of the settings. So if you don't want to see that, then again, you can turn it off. I personally don't mind it. And I think I'm going to keep it on when I play. There's also no more doors. I know a lot of players like myself really are happy about that. And also the minimap is the regular circular minimap that we all know and love. And yes, red dots will appear on the minimap if the enemy shoots their weapon. I'm so happy the Treyarch developers listened to the community feedback because Infinity Ward did not want to change it after so many people were against it. But yeah, I'm really glad that Treyarch listened to the fans and they reverted the minimap back to the way it used to be. But all in all guys, I'd say this game really does look like a mix of Modern Warfare with Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3 sprinkled into it. Some people are saying that it's like Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 4. Um, personally, I feel it looks more like Modern Warfare is sprinkled in there. But yeah, I don't know guys. Tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. I'm really excited for it. I think it definitely does look promising. And I just really hope it lives up to the hype because the trailer, everything they showed today looked amazing it got a lot of people hyped for sure i cannot wait to play the beta for this game next month um in terms of score streaks i just see here that the rcxd is going to cost 600 the spy plane is going to be 800 artillery 1900 napalms 2400 air patrol 2750 war machine is going to be 3150 uh the attack helicopter 3750 and then the chopper gunner is going to be at 6000 so you do got to earn a lot of score for these streaks but definitely if you stay in the game and get kills and play the objective you can really turn the game around in your favor so i am not opposed to the new score streak system i think it's going to be something very helpful to a lot of players and it's going to be more of an incentive to stay in the game instead of backing out so guys with that tell me thoughts about black ops cold war down below in the comments are you excited for the beta are you excited for this game in general again let me know how you're feeling down below in the comments guys thanks for watching i love you all so so much have a great rest of the day till next time i'll see you guys later